Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to go through some techniques in Blender for creating 3D food packaging mockups such as these. These models are in my 3D shop if you're interested in supporting me that way and having the models already made. And here is a demo of what we're going to be creating. So you will see if I go back to my first frame, we are going to be using physics for this, which is kind of fun. I'm going to keep one of these up as my example so I can reference it. But first we are going to add a plane with shift A, mesh, plane. And depending on what dimensions you're working in, I'm going to set it to my size. I'm working in millimeters and I'm going to rotate that 90 degrees on the X and then scale. I do have my key caster turned on in the bottom right corner of my screen. So now we have a plane and I'm going to subdivide it vertically in edit mode with control R and I'm going to hover until I see and using my scroll wheel. Let's add 17 vertical loop cuts and we want that to be an odd number so the points are spaced out evenly and symmetrically. And next we're going to add horizontal loop cuts with control R. You can see my yellow highlighted and I'm going to place those and change it to 14 and I'm going to scale them on the Z axis. And so they are tighter. And now let's grab half of those and move them to the top. or near the top and grab the other ones and move those to the bottom. All right, so let's zoom in and with vertex selection, select that top edge. And we're going to go to select, checker deselect, and using the grab, we're going to pull that down to get those ridges. And same with the bottom. Select those vertices. Go to select, check or deselect, G and Z. Next, I'm going to select everything and go to my side view. Let's use edge and pull that out to extrude it. Next, we're going to add a seam with control R. Let's add a loop cut. And with that still selected, go to Edge, Mark Seam. And now let's shade everything smooth. Or if you want to keep some of the parts, like at the top, you might want to shade those flat. And now looking at the side view and using X-ray mode and our Edge Selector, I'm going to select the top and bottom, leaving one edge on e either side. Scale that on the Y axis so it's much smaller. And now with face selection, I'm going to select every other section on the top and bottom. And this time we're going to tap E for edge selection, enter, and now I want to scale those on the Y axis. And this is where you might notice a difference on the shading flat versus shading smooth. So you might actually want to extrude those a little bit more up to you. Next, I'm going to add horizontal loop cuts, control R. And I want there to be, let's do 44 of those. And now with X-ray turned on and vertex selection, let's select these at the top and these at the bottom. And over here on the right, there is a little icon with green vertex and we're going to create a vertex group that you can rename. And we want to be sure and click assign. Now we're going to go to the physics tab, which is just two icons above these circles and turn on rigid body type is passive under cloth. Turn on pressure at, let's try one. 
Under Shape, select your new pin group that you just made. And under Field Weights, change gravity to zero. And now if we tab into Object Mode, we should see, you want to make sure that your animation timeline is turned on. And now you can see the physics animation. A couple of things I want you to make sure to do is with the object selected, go to Object, Apply, All Transformations. And we could be more detailed and add more wrinkles or shrinking indentions if we were to go to reduce the pressure a little bit and then possibly do a little bit minus 0 0.02 on the shrinking factor and using shift and your left arrow key will take you back to the beginning of the timeline and you can play around with that and select the frame that you like the best. So let's go ahead and duplicate this with shift D Hide the other one. Let's go back again on our timeline. And once you're happy with that, go to modifiers. And in object mode, you can apply that. And you can add other details, like in the sculpting tab. Maybe we want to add some creases or flatten it. Maybe crinkle some of the top. And then another thing you can do is you can add another subdivision surface modifier to add more detail. And I do want to know on this, since we have ridges, when we add the subdivision, it is smoothing out those points. So to keep those pointed, making sure X-ray mode is on, I'm going to select those vertices. And if we hit N to open our sidebar, under Item and Transform, we need to increase the mean vertex crease and the mean crease, however much you would like. And I need to do that at the bottom as well. And if we go to our materials tab, I have added my label image here. And I'm gonna select this one side with L. Tap U, Unwrap, and in my UV Editing tab, I'm going to scale that as needed. And do the same on the other side. And if we look at Render Mode, now we have our sugar packet. I hope this video helps with your project. If it did, please like the video and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Take care.